So we're just going to wait for them to tell us, then we'll get started then. All right, we're going to do the day eight. Yeah, we have okay. to really bring okay, out Okay, we're ready. We have to really bring out the concept of what does it mean enough. I think we should do this again. Why? Because uh, it wasn't... Uh, Good. Good. Yeah. You have one that's not. Welcome again to When the Land Sings with Yehuda Katz and Gedali Gerfine. Yeah, both of him. So, uh, Yehuda, my man, this is a kind of like feeling that we're in a situation of, you know, there's an expression called, it's never enough. Sometimes people suffer from that disease of it's never enough. If you got 100, you want 200, like the Talmud says. Uh -huh. But I always think that, you know, as, as Jews, we're always taught to, no matter what we have, it's enough to appreciate that. And I'm just wondering what you thought about the word enough. Well, I think I mentioned to you once enough before, to... I mentioned to you once before, that I can buy into that when you're talking about materialistic stuff. Mm. Stuff. Right. Materials. But when you're talking spiritual stuff, it's never enough. Right. So I could say on one hand, dayenu, but dayenu in the spiritual sense then means, yes, I really appreciate. I appreciate you allowing me to get me to this level, to this moment. But on a spiritual level, I think I can always want more, and I should. But, you know, that reminds me of what we were talking about uh, earlier, though, this idea of um, being... We call it Hiru Toho Koboro, that a person as they are inside should be an authentic reflection of the outside, meaning it's like um, one person, one heart. This idea of unity, and through unity we supply our physical needs for what we need, but our spiritual needs, as you said, are boundless. Oh, interesting, because you're applying that to one person, and when we wrote the lyrics to the song, me, I'm referring to, I had the great honor to write this song, with Hamutal Ben Zev, who's mm -hmm. one of the foremost lyricists in the history of our country. Mm. And we sat down and write it. I wasn't thinking about just the one man, one heart. Mm. I was thinking about one man, one heart. How can we be, how can we actualize mm. the one heart that we share together? Right, between us. Between us, one man, one heart. And of course, where did we get the concept from? Got the concept from uh, in the desert when we were waiting to receive the Torah at Mount Sinai. So we're standing there, and the Torah says in, uh, in the book of Yitro, Jethro, chapter 19 of, of Shemot, chapter 19, it says about the Jewish people who were, depending on the accounts that you look at on a soul level, a body level, somewhere between 600,000 and 3 million people. And how does the Torah describe them? Vayichan Sham Neged Ahar. And he camped there opposite the mountain. He, three million folk, isn't a he. It's they, Vayachanu. So Rashi, one of the greatest commentaries on the Torah, says the following thing. What were they, the Bnei Yisrael, the children of Israel? Ki'ish Echad Belev Echad. In that one moment, mm -hmm. they were like one man with one heart. Interesting. And don't you find it curious that the language is one heart and not one brain? Yes, because I think one brain, from my humble place, is impossible. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's ever going to be a one-brainer or a no-brainer. <laughs> it's like, I can't be a one-brainer. Everybody has their opinions, and everybody's entitled to their opinions. I sit down, I study something, I listen to a song, I read an article, whatever it is. Okay, I got my opinion of what it's about. Mm -hmm. You don't have to agree with me. I don't have to agree with you. But can we be together on a heart level? Mm -hmm. That's all I want to know. Right. That's a very interesting uh, idea. But I, I'd like to bring it back a little bit because I, I think that the song you mentioned we're going to do now is actually called Dayenu. Yeah. And it comes to the word enough. I, I remember once a rabbi once said, he said, you know, imagine if somebody uh, put like a, a pen in your hand and he said, what, the moment you push the button, Wherever you are, that's what you would be for eternity. You would say, that's going to be me forever and ever. So at what moment in your life would you say, enough? 
I don't think those moments exist. Mm-hmm. And why is that? Because it's never enough. Exactly. It's never enough. Exactly. Because since we can spiritually grow, it's never enough. I'm going to tell you a wild story. Oh. This is a wild, it's a personal story, if you don't feel forgive me. Please. There was a great holy man in Jerusalem known as the Amshan of a Rebbe. Not the current rabbi, the grandfather, grandfather. of the rabbi, right? And he was a very short man. I'm kind of known to be on the tall side. And the first time I ever met him was about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning and there synagogue and Bayat Pagan, and he comes as if it was the middle of the day, wide awake. He wasn't a young man at that point. He runs right up, I mean, to here, and he had these, like, f- blue flashlight eyes that were unbelievable, and and I see this man, and, and his eyes are looking up into me, and he says to me, he says, what's your name? And I, I said, Gedalia, and he says, oh, do you know what that name means? And uh, I said, what do you think it means? And he says, it means great as God. He says, every person has to be able to live a day with so much gusto that when they wake up in the morning, because of their connection to God's greatness, they have become transformed into another person, like a Bria Hadasha, like a new entity upon which you would have to make the blessing of Shekiano, the blessing of something that never existed before. Die. I don't believe that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why don't you take it to the hoop? Okay, we'll join the boys. Yeah. Tell it coolly. 
עד מתי? את נפשי ואת אוכי, כל חיי בכל כוחי. נקבל את האחר, או עד מתי? וימים עוברים עוברים והכל כאן מתחבר, או דיינו, או כמו איש אחד לב אחד, כך אני חולם דיינו, הדיינו, Uh, what do you got here now? Well, I'm going back to Dayenu. And of course, you know what? You made a joke uh, when, before we started this program about everyone says, yeah, Dayenu, the, the, but you know what? Dayenu, 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 Dayenu. Right. No. So I just saw here a very interesting thing uh, from uh, Reb Soloveitchik. Which? Which talks about... Um, the, the, the Rabbi Yosha Ber yes. Soloveitchik, yes. Rabbi Joseph Soloveitchik. Correct. where he says, why in that song, the good old Passover song, uh-huh. why do we repeat all the time, Dayenu? Like, Dayenu, right? It's enough. Why do we keep saying enough, enough, enough? He says like this, that when a person's on the road of their life, they may have like a real goal for their end game, like they're really going somewhere. They may get there, they may not get there. But therefore, they shouldn't lose sight of all the little successes along the way. Mm. Each success was Diana. Wow, I made it to that. I mm-hmm. made it to that. I made it to that. And that's how he was learning this idea of Diana. But I can still reach for the skies. For sure. For sure. Have a seat. Why don't you join me here in well, the office? Well, then I was thinking, I was yeah. thinking, I wanted Diana to tell you Passover? a story, but I wanted to have my guitar in my hand please, please. to tell this story. All right. Because it relates to this song. Mm-hmm. There's a lot, a lot to explain about this, about this song. But the, the first time I ever played this song, I was on the radio here in Israel, and I was doing some... Uh, I, I, I think they, were, they wanted to... They were talking to me about a new album. Mm. And as it happens, you know, once you put out a new album, you're already working on the next album. So the, um, the DJ says to me, Okay, enough about that album. What are you doing now new? <laughs> What? Give me a chance to sell one thing here. <laughs> no, what are you doing new? So I said, okay, you know, I just yesterday finished with Hamutal writing this song called Dayenu. I'll sing it for you. So, you know, as I was saying before, we say in the chorus of the song, Kimo ish echad belev echad, like one man with one heart, kach ani cholem, that's my dream. Aleinu. Mm. That's my dream for all of us. That we should be with my, like one man with one heart. And then I say, Kemo guf echad berega miyuchad, like one body for one moment. We all know we live here, and God forbid something happens and somebody gets hurt, or even worse. Don't I feel the pain? I feel it so deep. I feel the pain so deep. It's like if I have a pain in my, in my shoulder... There's referred pain all over my body. Mm-hmm. If God forbid something happens to you, you're part of my body. I feel it, and we feel it so deeply here. 
אז כמו גוף אחד ברגע מיוחד, if we could get to the level of one body for one, just one moment, אם זה קורה עכשיו, if that could happen now, דיינו. Mm. So I'm saying, when we wrote the song, okay, everybody, wouldn't that be really cool? If we could get there for one moment, that would be enough. As I was singing this song live on the radio, and I, I'm on the radio, so I'm closing my eyes, nobody's looking, I don't have to be present, no stage presence. I started singing over and over again, dying new. And I realized, I'm not just talking to all of us. I'm crying out to God. Mm. Wouldn't that be enough for you already? Mm. Like, we're just these mortal beings. We did all of this stuff. We came into the land. We built houses. We were blessed to take the desert and turn it into a blooming success. Mm-hmm. We are looking for ways to have peace with each other. And turn the sand into high tech. Turn the sand into high tech. Love the land. Love the land. I mean, if you live any place else in the world and you're not a farmer, you're not so much loving the land. Here, every step, I'm loving the land. So I'm saying, God, we did so much. Dayenu. Wouldn't that be enough? Mm-hmm. Can't that be enough for you? Nice. So... I sing in that uh, section of the song. Dayenu 